What's up guys? This is the Brotherman and welcome back to the next episode of my Let's Play as the Knights of St. John, or as I'm starting to call it, Watch Me Suffer. So the Italians are laying siege, well the Venetians actually have come south to attack us at the capital of Rome. I think we should be able to see them off because they have a fairly paltry army and we have some decent troops, but we do have the suicidal mortars, so I think I might just set them to not fire at all. Um, but let's crack on. Fences. So I think we should in the most part. Um, I'm just not going to have my mortars fire because we've seen in previous videos that all that seems to do is cause the enemy will try uh, to smash destroy my own walls seen. and make my own troops rout. So you, our own uh, mortars are pretty pretty pants. So much so I might even just deploy them out front. So they can at least fire forwards and they'll act as a bit of a breakwater. Let's put infantry on the walls. I can't get as much coverage as I would like. Because I do want some guys to be here to drop down some spikes. Because we do have potential for some cavalry charges. I don't really think I need... Okay, I'll put them on the walls for now. Then I can, I can easily run them down if we need to. Although I suspect there's probably better. Let's get my general in. Let's keep my the unit of cavalry outside in case we want to do something clever. The pikes are in. Sweet. Like I may as well have them outside just to just fire. Just one sec, guys. I'm getting a phone call, but I don't know who the hell it is, so I'm going to let it go to voice mail. It's a funny number. Because the thing is, I don't get phone calls. That's just a thing that doesn't happen to me, so when I do get one, it's usually a scam. That's my stance on it. I want to keep my cavalry reserves in case I get a chance to take out these guns, but to be honest, they're probably just going to blow a hole in the wall anyway. At the very least, with my mortar garrison down here, that might slow them down. And they may actually. Yeah, so they are going to charge. Charge my mortars. So, at the very least, that's going to slow these guys down, allow them to be engaged by my infantry on the walls. Lots of big misses. We do have some mercenaries and lots of militia. But let's crack on. Because the main benefit these guys provide is that we'll just hold them up. And allow my infantry to get lots of shots off. You guys should eviscerate that unit of militia. Get a militia unit actually route. Get another militia unit route. So there go our mortars, but that's okay. That's what we planned. You guys gonna fire your cannons? Yes, this guy is. Near miss. Bring my cavalry around. So this infantry unit is pretty destroyed, so I'm going to let them... I want to run these guys over here to try and rush these guys as they climb up the wall. Let's get my militia back. These guys. Just charge them with my cavalry because my, general, like, my cavalry is not really doing anything super useful. These guys are doing a great job at eviscerating their troops. My cavalry should. Oh, if I can make these guys rout. Halt fire well. You guys engage the mercenaries. 
don't run away from them. Charge them. The best chime, the best chance you've got is to attack them when they're. Actually, no. I think I might maybe even. Well, I do want to put you guys on fire. We'll halt the militia fire. Yeah, they're very upset because they're being they were being shot in the rear. Let's run my cavalry away. So these guys should be able to get a good volley, but my cavalry decide they want to they want to actually stay behind and get shot at, which is fine by me. They're routing towards the front. It so looks like they've changed their artillery target. Got another unit of mercenaries in the front. Their cavalry's routing. So my guys have bayonets, they should slightly have the edge, however they are just outnumbered. So much so, let's commit these guys into the battle, let's move these guys back to man a set of guns. They've routed some militias coming back. I'm starting to get the wins. So we've got two regiment of horse and a regiment of horse, so this could be a bit dodgy. It's a bit of a toss of a coin as to whose is better. We've got more experience, so our guys should do a bit more damage than theirs. Okay, let's get my pikes here in the event we lose control of the gate. Should be okay there. So they are slightly losing and we're slightly winning. We've got the numbers advantage. I think it's, it is our experience carrying through because we are both regiments of horse, however, We've got a bit more experience, which gives us the edge, I think, in a bit of a melee attack on defence. Their artillery is engaging us both. Come on, you chaps, you should be able to destroy that unit of guerrillas. Cavalry. Yep, cavalry's been destroyed. However, I can't go chase them down. A, because they've got lots of their own cavalry. And B, they've got lots of pikemen waiting. So I think to, pre to prevent the attrition of a bunch of my units, I just need to get them off the wall completely. Speed up time just because these guys are getting on my nerves. Like how they're deciding they'd much rather sit there and be shot at rather than man cannons and return fire. Although they found their target. I will sacrifice this unit slightly. In order to allow them to get a breach. You guys man the section over my tower here. In comes that cavalry. Now we're being charged by a unit of horse, so we're going to lose that combat, but we are firing into the back of their units. So 
So if the cavalry charges straight ahead, it'll hit these spikes. If they charge along to the flank, and I definitely did reposition you guys. No, it's because you're in pike wall. But you guys are going to charge straight into the defences. Yep, we lost the cavalry, but we've got no, there are no other ways in. So all these guys can do is just run around and hopefully come in the centre. Let's just put it on two times speed because it looks like the AI doesn't want to do anything else. Because it looks like the AI is... Right, who is who, who are the artillery shooting at? That's what I want to figure out. Because they're not shooting at them. I run you guys back. Oh, more cavalry charge. So if I run these guys away, these guys lose their aggro and they decide to go back into the breach. So they are trying to hit these guys, so let's just pull them back because they're actually in quite good strength. No, don't go down the wall. Come on, you guys. Why aren't you guys there? Someone, have you lost someone? Are you bugged? Oh god, yeah, you are. So if I run them back, he becomes unhooked. And now he's down again. So when these guys go into position, they'll open fire as a unit good and cause a whole lot of damage sweet so now we get to endure the rest of the battle with probably nothing happening in this these guys artillerying us to death and i don't want to attack them because they've got pikes and they'll tear through my weak formations i'm just going to hunker down and see where are they shooting They're aiming at them. Um, but if it looks like the AI is just going to sit here and not do anything, then I'm probably going to cut the recording and, and bring you guys back in due course. Because most of my infantry is so weak, I don't want to push out. I mean, they could the theoretically still shoot at them from... Okay, no, I can't unhook these guys, sadly. still aiming at them so let's just get them under cover or whatever cover I can because um, I don't think we're not gonna be able to stop them for another 40 minutes and that's a whole lot of shooting unless they decide to attack but I don't see why they would unless come on general okay out the front gate you see, I wanted you to run out of the breach, but whatever. Don't mind losing my general massively. I just want to provoke them to attack and come at me. Especially if they're just going to let me do it and just sit here and put in shield wall. gun teams 
dealt with. Could probably actually kill these guys. Because the pipes look like they're not actually coming after me. It looks like they just want to redeploy. In which case then, okay, let you redeploy while we line my general up behind your guns. Avoid your manoeuvring. Okay, now they're coming. I just want to keep charging them, but staying out of the line of fire of their pikes. Some of our general units have been... they will get caught. I think this might have provoked them into an attack. They've made a breach at the rear, that's how determined they are to kill that unit of infantry. to sneak in the front gate if they're fast. I mean, even though my cavalry is undisputably in. It's in, and they're not trying to get out, but the door still opens. Still open, so... The trouble is, I don't know, I can't remember where all their pikes are. They've still got one unit back there. Take my general outside. And let's send him up. No, come on, come out. Because look, okay, now they now they're closed. One of my cavalry is stuck on the door. Super duper handy. Okay, good. Now they're charging in the front. Probably gonna to want to bring my pikes into bed. And I accidentally monitor. No way, no, 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 no. Charge into the flank. Because this is gonna be the do or die. You guys stop firing, get you guys back down here. Just keep my general running. Their pikes have routed. Pull my pikes back. Pikes down here. To meet their general charging down this flank. Oh, come on, just get in. Good. Now my pikes can go out and say hello to your general. Because they'll love meeting the general. Yep, he's dead. Go on, pikemen. See him off. No, general, don't you get involved. Let my pikes do it. My pikes are great at attacking horses. They love it. Okay, 
it. So get my general back out to go after this last set of guns. So you guys have got to experience the frustration of a full battle, a siege battle, when the AI deliberately doesn't want to cooperate. To be honest, I'll go kill these kill these gunners, even though they're not firing. I'll go kill them, just to kill them. Then I'll probably cut the recording, because these guys probably aren't going to attack, and I don't want them to attack. Because this has been a, quite a costly battle for me. My, my victory here is trying to kill their artillery. Especially as their pikes aren't moving to support. Absolutely continue. I want to kill as many of these guys as I can. Pikes I'm not so bothered about, but I'll, but I'll be able to get, to get to them in a second once I've finished off this gun crew. Good. See if my general can kill a good block of them, because this unit's full strength. So we should be able to make a big dent. Although they're spreading out into a line, which is the most frustrating thing ever when it comes to chasing units down. Oh, hopefully it counts as them being dead. Whew. Okie dokie, yep, yeah, so we lost a lot of men, but we repulsed the Venetians back oh, of course they have <laughs> um, I suspect this one might be might be a restart again because yeah the Barbary states have put me under blockade I can't stop them okay no they blockaded me but then they sailed away So, let's check the alliances. So you're still... Oh yeah, this, the New Spain's currently in a big alliance with everyone. Everyone we dislike. It's probably not going to be too expensive to reinforce my... to replenish my army. It's just whether or not we can actually uh, do it. Whether we can sustain it, I suppose. can't research the next-gen port, so I can't build good ships, and all I can build is light galleys. I can't build anything here, because you're a trade port anyway, and you've got the Venetian army in it. So the rebels are going to come and attack us, but that's okay. I'm not going to spend any money, because, well, I might re rebuild my barracks, and maybe my cannon... Not my cannon foundry yet, because I'm not going to be in a position to be on the offensive. Can't do any tech, and no one's going to sell me any either, because I don't have any cash to, to buy it. <laughs> oh. I don't have any allies, so... Yeah, I'm pretty much at war with the entire Mediterranean. The only country that's not at war with me is the Ottomans, and I can't do anything about that. Yeah. The Venetians have come to attack us once more. Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this campaign's pretty difficult. <laughs> like, again, I don't, you know, I don't really see what else I can do differently. Um, I've only got the Barbary States last time, which went badly. Gone for Europe this time, and it's gone badly. Mortars out front. Maybe a bit closer to the wall so I can get a bit more direct fire support. My units are very weak. I can't remember if they have how if they have artillery or not. And you guys are up on the walls. So I've got one unit of pikes left. General's bodyguards and a regiment of horse. I'm just going to stay out here. Yeah, they do have artillery, so they are they are going to get in. Good. 
Go get a mortars. <laughs> We've not even got the firepower to really punish them. Get my mortars to go at the guns. Cavalry's attacking, charging straight in. The smart idea would probably be to go for my infantry. To go for their infantry, considering they've got relatively so little of it. I would like these guys to take this position here, but they don't seem to want to. Who are going to make rounds? They're cavalry. So they're hitting my mortars. have been routed. Fortunately they've only got the one artillery piece. So our gunfire here... Oh no we don't. Ah, so when I was saying aha we've got bayonets, we've got the advantage. We definitely don't. Go on everyone, pour as much fire on them as you can. I'm speeding up because right now it's just we've already fought a big battle like this before so go on route route yes speed up time you guys pick your guns back up again you damn fools here comes the pikemen Forever a danger. Fortunately, they are putting themselves in a position to be shot at. That's my mortars routing. That's not a problem. My infantrymen are wailing on these pikes. Yep, yeah, he's gone. These guys are getting shot at by the artillery, so they might just stay here. Because they can't. I've got 24 cavalry. 27 cavalry, so I might be able to do something sneaky to go get their artillery. I want to avoid this big block of pikes. Fire at the pikes. Speed up time. Let's just triple speed up. Let's run my cavalry up there. I'm probably gonna lose them against the against their cavalry and their pikes. If I can get around them before they aggro on me. If I hit their gunner, they can't get in. Avoid their cavalry. Hit their gunners. Quick! Come on, don't just stop right in front of him. No, they're going after the... Regiment of Horse. It's okay. Now you may as well fight them. Because we're actually winning. Try to snipe their general. Okay, now run away. Run! Pikemen! <laughs> Some of them did get caught. But they managed to flee. But just run my cavalry away. I'm these guys up onto this section of the wall. Because they are small enough now to do it. We should win this shootout. Who's that back there? Just a regiment of horse. So we've got the cover, we've got the firing advantage. These guys can probably. This small unit could probably win. The 
can keep this weight of fire up for a while. Tenth Regiment of Foot, loading and firing like madmen. Good. Wavering broken. Good. So it's just that cavalry in it. And that's a job for you guys. They may come back. Um, but I think, well, this cavalry is the only thing they've got left on the map, so... If I send out pikemen, I can either lure them in to attack me or they'll just rout straight away, so... What are you... Good. <laughs> Oh dear, that's really interrupted my plans to reinforce. The rebels are going to come and attack me as well. I think... <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> General and cavalry outside try and take out their artillery. And, um, we can withstand their infantry, I suppose, if they make it to the wall in large numbers. They need to the only use of cavalry spikes, I think, that's worth doing now is is uh, is the is to provide something to. Oh god, I can't hide you guys in here. Not my general, though, sadly. Triple speed again, just because. Let's get my cavalry on the move. Because to be honest, my cavalry is so weak. My cavalry is so weak and they have so much artillery they may still be able to breach. My cover units are so weak that they their crews may be able to fight them off. So I, don't, I want to kill them, but I doubt I can. You guys charge straight into the wall, actually. These guys can pick up, this weak unit can pick up the routing gunners. Because this is a rebel unit, if I can kill them, I think I get public order bonuses. So there's a handful of gunners over here. Good. Kill him, you guys. Go after them. Absolutely continue. Even though I don't really have the numbers to take advantage of it. Good, here are the gunners. Good, they're dead. Just go after the militia. These guys are too far away. Yeah, they've routed. Militia will route as well, but we may as well try and get some kills. Oh, who's over here? Oh, the other... The other militia unit. Eh, send them to attack them, I guess. Ah, oh, no. There's the edge of the map. Not quick enough. My gunners didn't manage to kill three of my cavalry, and I wonder how many more they would have to kill to make them route. Not very many, I would imagine. 
for the Genoese to show up and they'll kill me. <laughs> oh, okay. Set units to replenish. Can't even send a unit army to go down and get them because that's not very many men at all. Diplomacy, major nation, Spain. Come on, Spain, chill out. What about Britain? Some more units. Spain, Britain, Genoa, and Venice. So everybody around Rome has declared on me. The only major country I'm not actually at war with is um, the Ottomans. Which is uh, a concern. <laughs> so I want to build a school here, but that'll probably get raided and destroyed. I mean, the smart move is to probably add a couple of more units of infantry. Because God knows how long I'm going to have to do this repulsing game. I'm probably going to also want to build the Uni of Line in Valletta, just in case they land. Kadoki, end turn. Because I need to get Rome on my side. So I can send an army south to go take Naples, and this is becoming very much like my Italian States campaign. <laughs> Except there's just not eh, there's just not a lot I can do about it because I'm at war with all these major countries. Oh god, that's doesn't that's not good at all. They may be going for um, my capital. The Italian rebels don't have the strength to defy me, so they're just going to raid. And that's okay because the country is now on my side, although not yet taxable. Um, okay, let's build these vineyards just to try to get a bit of income. Let's probably not worry about the artillery still again. I might build this into a school to see if I can. No, that's going to lose one and a half grand to the Italian rebels. I think the, na the, the name of the game is to build my strength. Is to build my strength to the point I can tax Rome. Then take Naples to the south. Maybe try and broker some kind of peace with the major nations. I don't know. It's going to get messy. That's all I'm saying. I'm determined to make I'm determined to make this campaign work so I'm not going to do what happened to yeah in okay, case so they've attacked me with a, a few ragtag units from the original force one unit of guns which isn't a problem lots of our units are at higher strength that's so not so bad do we even get a garrison line unit no we've just got the armed citizenry and one unit of mortars um looking at the timer I think I'm going to leave it there because you've already fought three defences of Rome and I think probably I'm going to record a different campaign now because I'm not sure how many more defences of Rome I can fight. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another Defence of Rome. Cheers, everyone.